The Amazon is a colossal mystery, and uh, it's one of the subjects that I explore in depth in America before. The Earth surely does have curious corners with interesting stories to it, but nothing comes close to the lush green canopy of the forest. Covering just 7% of the Earth, it pulls its weight around. With its mysterious creatures and tales that can make one pee their underwear, brace up as we unveil 20 strange things found in the jungle. The mysterious island. Number 20. Airplane Jungle Hotel. Who takes a flight thousands of kilometers away just to go live on another flight? Sounds funny, right? But hold that thought because you might hop on the next flight after hearing what comes next. This luxurious hotel is situated on a Boeing 727, which at first look seems like it had an unfortunate crash landing on a journey. The old plane in its former life flew on routes conducted by South Africa Air and the Colombian aviation company Avianca Airlines. You could say it's now enjoying its retirement life. After several months undergoing extensive remodeling, the airplane and its surrounding wood deck are now perched on a 50-foot pedestal offering panoramic ocean and jungle views. This flight of fancy is located in a coastal rainforest between the Manuel Antonio National Park and the Pacific Ocean. It brags about its three cliffside pools, sun decks, Costa Rican teak paneling, and two air-conditioned bedrooms, one with two queen-sized beds and the other with one queen-sized bed, with each room having a private bathroom. The suite also boasts a kitchenette, dining area, and a private entrance and balconies. Can we talk about the mind-blowing view you get from the balconies and airplane windows? It would leave you thinking you're on the terrace of a beach house in Miami looking over the flowing ocean while sinking in the cool and soothing breeze of the ocean. Spending a few hours in this luxurious hotel will give you the heaven-on-earth experience. Number 19. The Legendary Boiling River what you are about to hear may sound like a tale from a horror movie, but it does exist. It involves a boiling river that flows from the center of the earth and kills anything that falls in it. I know you're scared already, but you need to sit back and hear a bit about where this mysterious river originated from. Many, many years ago, when Andres Ruzo, a National Geographic young explorer, was a child, he was told a rather strange story by his grandfather about a boiling river that shows no mercy to its unfortunate victims. When he was much older, he decided to investigate if this story was true or if it was one of the fictional bedtime stories from his grandfather. Peru traveled deep into the Peruvian forest to uncover this mystery. While narrating his discovery, he mentioned that the boiling river is in the central Peruvian Amazon, in the middle of the low jungle. It is actually about an hour's flight to the city of Pucallpa, the largest city in the central Peruvian Amazon, and from Pucallpa it was a two-hour drive mostly on red dirt roads to the Pacatea River. Now, the most intriguing thing about this river is that it starts as a cold stream, heats up, then cools back down slightly at night. It goes from roughly 27 degrees Celsius to about 94 degrees Celsius at its hottest. But how does the stream get heated up to the point it kills anything in it and even inflicts harm to nearby proximity? After a lot of research, Peru concluded that this mysterious hot jacuzzi is fault-fed, which means that the water sinks deep, spends some time underground taking heat from the earth, and then shoots back up through faults and cracks in the earth's surface to create this anomalously large thermal river. There are several speculations about the mysterious boiling river. Some say it is supernatural, and others say it is a habitation for the mermaids and sea beings. In truth, the boiling river is a natural feature, a non-volcanic geothermal feature that just flows at anomalously high rates. Brace yourself for more stunning facts as we delve into an interesting side of the jungle. Number 18. The City of the Monkey God Journey with us as we dive into the fascinating tales of the city of the monkey god. It's like the epic movie The Monkey King, and if you haven't seen it, you've missed out. But guess what? The legendary city of the monkey god has some mind-blowing facts that'll blow your mind even more. So, stay tuned for an adventure you won't want to miss. This beautiful yet hidden city that nearly has no humans living in it only gained recognition as a result of a curious filmmaker and explorer, Doug Elkins and his team venturing into the jungle in Honduras's La Mosquitia region and found ruins that could be those of the fabled city. 
Elkin's fascination with the city of the Monkey God began in the 1990s, when he first heard about it while working as a television producer. He ventured into Honduras's La Mosquitia region and captured this grueling journey in a documentary. The team used clues that had been gathered by previous expeditions as well as ground-surveying satellites and laser scans. They uncovered structures and artifacts that had been swallowed by the jungle, revealing secrets of an ancient culture that could be over a thousand years old. Isn't this stunning? This white city spans over 1,350 square miles and is one of the most pristine lowland rainforest areas in Central America, supporting Honduras's biggest biodiversity. Sadly, the area is presently under the threat of logging and the illicit trade of wildlife. This puts at risk not just the animals and plants in the area, but also also artifacts that could be stolen. Luckily enough, with the help of the president of Honduras and his army, Elkins and his team were able to save the city from destruction and looting. Number 17. The Mysterious Amazon Rings you cannot talk about mystery without mentioning the mysterious Amazon rings, which are older than the jungle itself. These series of square, straight, and ring-like ditches are scattered throughout the Bolivian and Brazilian Amazon. What was their purpose? Were they used as drainages or maybe for religious and ceremonial functions? How much did the prehistoric alter the landscape of the Amazon before the arrival of the Europeans? These and many other questions are slowly getting their answers, as researchers are constantly seeking out hidden truths about these rings. Some answers that emerged from the findings carried out by author John Francis Carson, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Reading in the United States, reveal that the Amazon rings are unquestionably artificial formations that have arisen due to human actions, impacting climate change not just over the past two or three centuries, but tracing back to a millennium. The Amazon rings is a mystery yet to be fully uncovered, but as science advances by the day, we are certainly going to get answers to these pending questions soon. Number 16. The Largest Flower in the World now let's talk about a beautifully shaped flower that houses a lot of danger within. The strawberry-looking Rafflesia arnoldii is one of the rarest flowers in the world. This rare flower is found in the rainforests of Indonesia. It can grow to be three feet across and weigh up to 15 pounds. For a flower that is quite impressive, this beautiful Rafflesia flower is not as innocent as it looks. It is more of a parasitic plant. The bizarre plant has no visible leaves, roots, or stems. It attaches itself to a host plant to obtain water and nutrients. Not to forget, Rafflesia is a very cunning and calculative plant. When in bloom, the Rafflesia emits a repulsive odor similar to that of rotting meat. This odor is meant to attract insects that pollinate the plant, which of course works just as planned. Unfortunately, the bloom lasts only about six to seven days, then it dies and rots. Rafflesia is also called corpse flower and it got its nickname because it smells like dead flesh. Unlike most plants, this flower does not use energy from the sun to eat its food. It gets all its nutrients and water from a host, a vine in the grape family. Due to the incredibly specific requirements of the plant, almost no botanical gardens have a Rafflesia arnoldi in cultivation, including Kew. However, these fascinating flowers are at risk due to the destruction of forest habitats in Southeast Asia. Researchers warn that 42% are under threat, with 25 classified as critically endangered, and 15 are endangered. It is Raffrasia flower. Wow. Yeah, the Raffrasia is the biggest flower. Number 15. Real Life Tarzan the Tarzan-like story of Hovan Lang and his father, Hovan Thon, exemplified the concept of survival of the fittest. The duo fled civilization to the woods of the TRA Bong district in 1917-2, amid bombings launched by United States troops during the Vietnam War, which killed half of their family. For decades, these men had no idea that the war was over. Lang and his father proceeded to enjoy the carefree, free-spirited life the jungle offered them. Yes, just like Tarzan flew from tree to tree in the movies enjoying the richness of the jungle, you can say Tarzan Lang and the father did even more, soaking themselves in the newfound life of freedom. This was one life-changing decision the duo made. However, it didn't last for so long. The men were forced to move to a nearby town in 2013 when Lang went to a village in search of medical care for his then ailing father, who later died of unreported causes in 2017. Ho Van Lang eventually died eight years after his father at the age of 52 of liver cancer. Number 14. The Stone Sphere of Costa Rica 
Let's explore the world of mysterious stones that hold ancient secrets and intriguing stories. Our journey begins on a small island called Isla del Cano and the Dequis Delta in Costa Rica. Here you'll find over 300 stone petrospheres, also known as the Diqui spheres, which are linked to the ancient Diquis culture. The giant ball-sized stones range in size from just a few centimeters to over two meters in diameter and weigh to 15 tons. Mostly made from gabbro, a phaneritic coarse grain mafic intrusive igneous rock, these huge stones are similar to basalt with some examples of limestone and sandstone spheres. This has moved beyond an artifact or a historical monument that we only read about. It is now a tourist site where people pay to get in. So if you have a special interest in seeing strange and out of the ordinary things, you should visit the Finca 6 Museum where it is displayed. This is where the spheres have been recovered, the recovery site. Number 13, the lost stone head of Guatemala. Continuing our exploration of these mysterious stones, let's uncover the secrets of the stone head of Guatemala. This striking stone artifact, with its puzzling appearance, challenges our understanding of Central America's history and ancient civilizations. In the 1950s, Dr. Oscar Rafael Padilla Lara, a lawyer with a profound passion for archaeology, received a photograph of a stone head from the Guatemalan jungle. What added to the intrigue of this discovery was that the face on the stone head bore no resemblance to the people from the pre-Hispanic era in that region. Instead of the typical broad features of the Mayan or Olmec cultures, this one had thin, sharp features, which was a real head-scratcher. The stone head's unusual appearance has led to many different ideas. Some people even think it looks like an alien, like what you see in movies. While these ideas might be a bit far-fetched, they show just how fascinating and mysterious this monument is. Unfortunately, here's the sad part of the story. During the Guatemalan Civil War, the stone head got destroyed. It crumbled away over time because of all the conflict. So the only evidence we have that it ever existed is the photo that Dr. Padilla Lara managed to get his hands on. Number 12. Mind-Controlling Fungus Imagine being able to manipulate people's minds to make them do what you want. That would be truly amazing. This fungus with such rare abilities can also be regarded as a superhero. Are you curious to know what this fungus looks like? Let's get into it. Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, also called zombie ant fungus, specializes in infecting and controlling insects against their will, and the ant seems to be its primary target. How do they succeed in controlling the minds of their prey? A study finds that when this fungus infects a carpenter ant, it becomes the puppet master. It forces the ant to leave its nest, climb a plant, and lock its jaws onto a leaf. Then, the fungus grows a stalk through the ant's head and shoots out spores. These spores rain down on the ant's fellow comrades, transforming them into zombies and ultimately claiming their lives. The parasitic zombie hunting process is quite fascinating to watch. It's like a real-life sci-fi thriller. Number 11. The Ancient Mysterious UFO the Earth's never-ending knack for revealing hidden secrets just keeps us on the edge of our seats. Is this a potential threat to humanity? Could they be plotting to take over? These very questions raced through people's minds when researchers unveiled what seemed like an otherworldly sanctuary tucked away in the heart of Brazil's Rondonia state, nestled in the untouched northwestern wilderness. Miles of untamed forests surround this place, and it appears to be devoid of any human presence. People have different ideas about what these lights and UFOs might be. Some say they could be from outer space, while others think they might be secret military tests. We can't say for certain, but these mysterious events make us think and remind us that there are still many things we don't understand. Number 10. Siguraya, the Eighth Wonder of the World have you ever been blown away by incredible places like the massive pyramids in Egypt or the stunning statues in Greece? Well, get ready to be wowed by another wonder. It's time to discover the eighth wonder of the world, Siguria. This incredible rock formation located in Sri Lanka will leave you awe-inspired with its unique architectural features and historical significance. It is truly Sri Lanka's most precious possession. It was originally a refuge home for King Kashyapa after overthrowing his father and killing him alive. He was no longer welcomed by the people. Kashyapa fled and sought refuge in Sigiriya, which after his death had become a monastery for over 14 centuries till date. What is truly amazing about this edifice is the awesome stone craftsmanship and stunning wall art made by the early Sri Lankan people. And when you step inside, you'll find lush gardens, pools, and all sorts of water features. It is truly a work of art. Number 9. Lost City of Giants 
The lost city of giants got its name because of a local legend about giant tools and a race of huge humans who once lived there. This place has a massive structure with a steeply slanted wall and a flat area on top. People have found all sorts of old stuff there, like cobblestone walls or ancient streets. Now, some adventurous explorers have stumbled upon this incredible site and started digging into its secrets. They've even found big stones with holes in them, which is making them question whether it's a pyramid or something naturally formed. And guess what? It's turning out to be even larger than they originally thought. But here's where it gets really interesting. This discovery could hold the key to solving many mysteries in South America and might even lead to an incredibly valuable treasure. Some experts are even suggesting it could be the final resting place of Atahualpa, an important historical figure. The Ecuadorian government is aware of this discovery, and they're planning to send archaeologists and scientists to take a closer look. But here's the catch. It's a remote, dangerous jungle location, and it takes a grueling eight-hour trek just to get there. And to top it off, there's a risk of attacks from some seriously aggressive bees. Number 8. The Giant Serpent of Vietnam in the vast lands of Asia, you'll encounter a fascinating variety of snakes. But when it comes to Vietnam's 200 snake species, there's one that truly takes the crown for being the reticulated python, which not only holds the title of the biggest snake in Vietnam, but also the world's longest snake. How cool is that? This snake is the reticulated python. It grows from 4 feet 11 inches up to 21 feet 4 inches long and weighs anywhere from 2 to 165 pounds. Reticulated pythons are given their name because of the special way their skin looks. These patterns kind of remind you of a colorful net, and that's why they're called reticulated. It's like nature's own art. Their feeding pattern is dependent largely on the size of the python. When pythons are still growing, their menu includes things like rats, rodents, bats, and shrews. But as they get bigger, their tastes evolve, and they feed on civets, binturong, monkeys, and even pigs and deer. Some of these reticulated pythons have been caught on camera, chowing down on prey that tips the scales at a whopping 50 pounds. And for those that can't do without having pets, it is strongly advised not to have them as one. Even if the odds of being used as dinner by these mammals might be low, bites can be serious enough to require stitches. So, you better off watching them from the screens of your gadgets. Number 7. The Tree That Breathes Imagine taking a leisure walk through the deep jungle and suddenly you come across trees that seem to be breathing. What do you think you'd do first? I bet your initial reaction would be to run away. But this is not fiction or mere imagination. It happened to Daniel Holland, who was taking a stroll in the moist forest one afternoon. He observed the ground seemed to move up and down like the earth was breathing. The wind was strong, making the trees bend a lot, and it felt spooky, like a scene from the Twilight Zone. Studies have found that it is a once-a-year occurrence that lasts only a few days in a forest in sacre coeur Quebec. It occurs because of underground springs, which overflow during heavy rains, creating a high pressure that causes water to gush out of the tree trunk. During this movement, it makes the tree look like it is breathing. This is where the idea of the breathing tree came from. Number 6. Ariao Amazon Towers Hotel Beautiful things are indeed hidden in strange places. This is true of the Ariao Amazon Towers Hotel. This amazing hotel nestled in the heart of the mesmerizing Amazon jungle is a truly exotic and authentic Brazilian experience. Getting here is a breeze with options like a relaxing boat ride that is just two hours, a thrilling helicopter journey in just 15 minutes, or a speedy 50-minute trip by speedboat. This fantastic hotel boasts 288 cozy units and offers an array of facilities that will make your stay unforgettable. Imagine yourself at the top of the world on two towering 41-meter observation decks enjoying breathtaking views of the Rio Negro and the lush Amazon forest. Need a place to host an event? There's a spacious auditorium with a seating capacity for 450 people, equipped with all the audiovisual tools you could wish for. The hotel offers not one, but two restaurants to satisfy your taste buds, plus a bar and even a cyber cafe for those who need to stay connected. Don't forget to check out the small supermarket and souvenir shop for mementos of your jungle adventure. You'll find 24-hour reception, public internet access, and even a cycle hire service to explore the area at your own pace. And when it's time to relax, your room comes with a mini bar, an ensuite bathroom, no electric shower, but a soothing bath nozzle, a private terrace, and a trusty fan to keep you comfortable. I know you're already eager to book that flight straight to the Amazon for a swell time, but that's not all. The hotel goes above and beyond with two incredible treetop-level swimming pools and a fully equipped gym. 
So, whether you're here for adventure, relaxation, or both, this Amazonian gem has got you covered. This Amazon hotel promises an unforgettable stay in the heart of the jungle. Now let's pause and discuss a very interesting topic in our subscribers' pick today. From the picture on your screen, you can see how confused this adventurer seems, and he's rightly so because who in the world abandons a full ship in the middle of nowhere? Lost in a journey in Panama, this adventurer finds himself staring right at a near-perfect pirate ship, which was hidden and abandoned here from the era of piracy. But how did this ship end up here, and who could have forgotten a full ship in the middle of the jungle? A logical explanation would be that it was tossed by a violent storm into the jungle, which would have been right. But when this adventurer looked inside, he found no bodies of its occupants on it. If it was truly tossed by a wind, wouldn't there be the remains of its previous occupants? Or could it be that it was intentionally hidden and later forgotten? Well, leave your take in the comments section below. Let us hear your opinion and take on this topic. Number 5. The Mega City of Angkor The ornate, pinecone-shaped towers of Angkor Wat in Cambodia float above a vast temple complex of shrines, pools, houses, and a perfectly square moat. Today, only a small number of monks remain within the temple walls. The remaining structures have been reclaimed by trees whose roots wind around the stone like cellulose tentacles. Archaeologists have long wondered what life was like here when Angkor was the cosmopolitan heart of the Khmer Empire in the 12th and 13th centuries. Why did so many people abandon this place in the 15th century never to return? The answers remain unknown. Another intriguing aspect of Angkor was its water source. During the rainy season, water was readily accessible near the surface. But when the dry season rolled around, you had to dig down about 16 feet to find water. There was also the innovative water management system. They expanded their water collection methods by adding a third catchment area in a previously existing two. Moreover, they constructed a man-made canal that transformed into a river, effectively altering the flow of water in the region. Number 4. Hang Sun Dung Cave. Sun Dung is not just any cave, it's the Big Kahuna, the largest cave in the world when it comes to how much room it takes up. And guess where it's located? Right in Vietnam. The cave was discovered by a jungle adventurer named Ho Khan back in 1990. It wasn't until 2009 when a joint team of explorers from the United Kingdom and Vietnam officially measured Sun Dung, and they reached the consensus that it is indeed the largest natural cave on Earth. Their declaration received validation from various experts, including the geologist Dr. Tony Waltham, and even National Geographic was so impressed that they gave it a thumbs up too. In 2013, it got the official stamp of approval from the Guinness World Records as the largest natural cave in the world. But here's the thing, some people mix up Sun Dung with Mammoth Cave in the United States. Mammoth Cave is known for being the longest cave system, but Sun Dung wins the title for the most spacious cave. And right inside this mind-blowing cave, you'll find a whole unique ecosystem, all within the largest cave passage you can imagine. How did this all come to be? Well, this massive and intricate cave system was shaped by an underground river, and it's adorned with some jaw-dropping formations thanks to water from the rainforest above. It's a natural wonderland. Number 3. Sima Humboldt This section is at the top of the list of strange discoveries in the jungle. With a hole this massive, it could serve as a clandestine passageway to the underworld. Sima Humboldt, also known as Sima Mayer, is an enormous sinkhole that resembles a colossal cavity in the Earth's surface. It's situated atop the Sari Sarinama Tepui in Venezuela, making it even more remarkable because it's the only forested Tepui in the area. What's truly astonishing is that there's an actual patch of forest at the bottom of this chasm. But what adds to the intrigue is how this geological wonder came into existence. We'll delve into the fascinating details shortly. Moreover, it's named in honor of the renowned scientist and explorer Alexander von Humboldt. Back in 1961, a pilot named Harry Gibson spotted this sinkhole along with another nearby one called Sima Martel. Are you ready for the next part? It's about to get even more eerie. Number 2. Walking Trees Socratea exoriza is a palm tree that is a native of the rainforests in Central and South America. What's so special about it is that it does a bit of walking from the shade to sunny spots. How does it achieve this? It grows its roots in the direction of where it wants to head and lets its old roots stick up in the air and gradually disappear. Some folks have speculated this whole journey takes a couple of years. However, a paleontologist even suggests it moves about two to three centimeters every single day. Isn't that truly fascinating? Number one, a hidden German hideout. 
A group of archaeologists exploring an Argentine jungle recently made a captivating discovery. They suspect they found a secret hideout that the Nazis may have constructed during World War II. These hideouts were designed for high-ranking Nazi officials as escape options if the war didn't go their way. The research team, composed of experts from the University of Buenos Aires and the La Plata Museum, spent approximately two weeks in the thick jungle and unveiled three buildings, a stone quarry, and several artifacts from World War II. Here's the intriguing part. The team doesn't believe the Nazis ever used this hideout. Why, you ask? Well, it's heavily overgrown by the jungle, making it an incredibly challenging place to access. They had to cut through the dense vegetation using knives and machetes. The team leader believes that the Nazis probably never required this hideout. Notably, after World War II, Argentina became a safe haven for thousands of Nazis, thanks to its president at the time, Juan Perón. This adds an unexpected twist to the historical narrative. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.